Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at an app called Refractions, um, which is, uh, it, you can self-generate music. It will basically self-generate music once you set it up. Excuse me, I'm a bit out of breath um, because I've just run back up the stairs. <laughs> and when I say run, I mean just walked. Right, okay, so, uh, so this is re the Refractions app. I'm gonna go through the whole thing in detail. Um, how to set it up with AUM. It will work 100% on its own. You do not need to use it with anything else. It has eight built-in sounds itself, but they are just those eight sounds. Um, so hi, Clifford. Thank you for the uh, congratulations on the 45,000 subscribers too. Thank you very much. So I've also got another Interapp audio app called Photo4, which we'll also be taking a look at as well. Yes, now live, now live, definitely live. <laughs> um, Okay, so, and that is sitting here. Now, I'm going to play a little bit of this for a couple of minutes so you get an idea of the kind of thing you can do. And this is really extremely, extremely simple to set up. It requires no no brain power whatsoever, unlike Watson, who's now barking. Um, and, and then we'll set a completely fresh session up, and I will use a, a, a MIDI mixer as well, because then we can do some very cool slides and fades and stuff. But you, like I said, you only need, now this is a very, very old app. Okay, Photo uh, reflect, uh, Refractions is not AUV3, it's still Interapp Audio, it will work on its own, or is an Interapp Audio, so you can send MIDI off and whatever. Uh, like for instance, you'll see on this Synthmaster one here, if I open it up, it's been routed to Refractions Virtual MIDI. Okay, so uh, I'll close the microphone and I'll just play it and see what you think. If, you're, if you actually enjoy this, you'll probably enjoy the rest of the video as well, so, you know. Okay, so we'll stop that there, and now we'll set up a new one from scratch. Like I said, it requires zero musical knowledge. Once you've rooted all this stuff up, you're absolutely, you can just, basically once you've pressed play, because it has kind of like an, well, it says it's an AI engine, but that uh, kind of adapts to your playing style over time. So you just put, let's get into it, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna save this session, which I call Self Gen 1. Okay, and I'm going to clear it out there. And I'm going to close uh, everything here for now and go to MIDI Mixer here. And because I want to use MIDI Mixer, you don't need to use MIDI Mixer, but it, it really is very cool. I'm going to go to AUM Sessions. <coughs> and I'm just going to choose the 8-channel mixer. And that'll set it all up for us inside AUM. Um, it's... No, it's not really similar to Fugue. Fugue Machine you is... Yeah, okay. Hopefully I'm back now. So it might do this a couple of times and I'll just continually reconnect to uh, see how far we get. Anyway. Uh, yeah, it just generates over time sort of thing. So it, it MIDI mixer scares me. MIDI mixer is very, very easy to use. Uh, I'm going to make it smaller for now because it's too big on the screen and I only need the eight channels. It just, all it does is these channels are now representative of these channels here like this. So it just makes it easier to control your 
uh, your levels and stuff, your MIDI mixer, and then you can kind of just do fade ins and fade outs and set snapshots. If you use it a couple of times, it's dead easy. You can be as complicated as you like with MIDI mixer. It has all sorts of CC stuff and not, not the kind of thing I'd use it for, but you know, because I'm simple. Right, okay. Let's go all the way back to channel one. And like I said, you do not need to use MIDI mixer. It just, it's just easier for me when you know, you're mixing and stuff, it's nice. First of all, this first channel here, channel one, we will go to Inter App Audio and we will choose Refractions. And that will open up and it's got link, it'll link automatically to, um, to, 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 to the session, to, you know, so if we play that now. and But in this second one, I'm also gonna put another Inter App Audio app and I'm gonna put Photo 4, because Photo 4 is also really nice. It's a, actually, it's a synth. You have all sorts of cool controls. You can have up to 32 oscillators playing the same wave. And but we this is not a Photo 4 tutorial. I have done Photo 4 tutorials if you want to look for them. Plus it has a big load of presets in different categories. Anyway, we're going to leave it on its initial patch for now because it sounds quite nice for what we want to start with. Now, before I start adding interapp or uh, uh, AUs and stuff to it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a basic guide to how refractions works. Okay, so we're linked to AUM. So I'm going to take, the, oh, I'll leave at 100 BPM, that's fine. So these eight lines here, they represent instruments, okay? This is the sequence of those instruments running around. You don't need to be bothering about stuff like this. It doesn't matter. All you need to do is press one of these And it will start to make noise and it will it will just generate another note in a moment because we've only pressed the one the count in the middle is for the bar so at the moment it's set on an eight bar length again doesn't really matter there it is again you can go into settings and you will see that the second one has got MIDI, but no instrument assigned because I've set that to have no instrument. But if I go into here and go down to, um, where are we, sample playback and hit this, it's a chameleon in this second slot. So this is, we use no other instruments. Okay, so we can just put some more of them in. And now you see it's just, it's not, I don't think it's buffering. Is anyone else getting buffering now? I don't think. It seems to be okay here. I usually get a warning, Sean. If anyone else is getting, if, if anybody else is getting uh, not buffering here, if anyone else can just jump in and say, might just need a refresh, Sean, I don't know. Usually it tells me if it's buffering and I have to reconnect it sort of thing, you know. Anyway, we can add other instruments as well. And then... get rid of anything you've done I know that was a bit loud folks sorry you just swipe this way so it's removed all those notes and it'll remove those notes as well so further settings you have, let's remove those as well.
you have further settings. You can choose the musical scale. Well, I've got the root set to D and then the scale set to major pentatonic. So you have all these other scales you can set it to. Uh, you have Ableton Link, which obviously you have MIDI destinations, but we're using it inside AUM, so you don't need to really worry about that. And back, background mode is on. And then you can reset the AI en engine, and then it kind of resets it, and then it, it changes the feel of it sort of thing as you start to play <coughs> again. So let's get out of this. Now let's look at setting this up with something else. So first of all, I'm just going to engage a couple of notes here. And we have a mixer, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so six is sweep. And then we can go, we can enable that track or disable it so it will take that sample away. Uh, sample play track. Leave the track enabled, then you'll play other instruments as well. Or you can just make it stop playing that instrument. I'll put it back in for now. Then you have quantization, it's in 16th note. Pattern length, you can go up to eight measures, which it is. And then you have a volume control. And this volume control will also control the volume of the instrument it's, it's playing as well. So we've just lowered the volume of that sweep a little bit. So we can go back. So let's go back to... Let's go back to this. And what I'm going to do here for photo four is go into the MIDI routing and I'm going to have refractions play photo four. So you see here, so I'm just going to do this. And what it'll do is refractions will then play, will then play photo four, you see. And we could open photo four and change the instrument. Now, there's not much triggering going on now, so it's going to be every now and then. Cool. And now, let's start adding a using so audio unit extension. This will get really easy. We'll use Synthmaster 1 because I really like the orbit sound for this kind of thing. So, open this, open your browser, choose the sound you want. I'm going to use key orbit like this i'm going to lower the volume a little bit <coughs> excuse me and i'm also going to lower the volume on uh, photo for and also this so you can hear what i'm saying to set this up is so so super simple let's say for instance we want this to also play um synth master one so we know it's channel one so this is set up automatically for you. Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 6, Channel 7, and Channel 8. So what we need to do is make sure that Synthmaster 1 is receiving MIDI information from Channel 1, uh, from Refractions Channel 1. And to do this, we just touch on this. No, we don't touch on that at all. Or that. We touch on the little toaster icon next to it. Go down to it, say Channel Filter. Go None and then one, and then you're done. And now what will happen is, you need to open the toaster again and choose refractions from the MIDI sources. Um. And there's Synth Master One. But this is so cool. <laughs> Let's go another audio unit extension. Let's choose Waverly because this in the sinus ones are really nice for this as well. So sinusoidal. And I'm gonna go with the dual chorus. Doesn't really matter, you can play with different sounds and stuff. Again, I'm gonna go into the toaster. I'm gonna go channel filter non. And I'm going to choose number two. And I'm also going to connect it to refractions. And then we can go to 
ordinary fractions and choose this. Now that's also putting the chameleon in, so let's take that out so we can hear Waverly. So sample playback to stop. And there's Waverly. It's not AUV3, well no. And it's very old. And it just self-generates. Basically all you need to do is start tapping away. Which, which means you can also start to add other effects now to anything you want. It's just lovely, isn't it? It really is. Let's add the factory in. So you can keep an eye on what you're doing. I've just stopped it, started and stopped it. So we've got this going to um, channel one. We filtered the channels and channel two. Uh, so factory will set to logically channel three of course you can send it anywhere and then we can go back to refractions and start adding stuff to one two instrument number three and if we don't want to hear this instrument as well we just remove that sample in the settings like i showed you and then we'll add another one as well while we're here we shall add this one and we'll add aperio like that and again, we need to filter out our info. So we've got channel three there. I'm going to connect the two refractions. I'm going to do this and we're going to go with none and channel four and also connect that to refractions. So now we've got four, well, five synths going to be played by refractions. And we can adjust our levels and stuff as we go, which is also going to be very cool beans. So I also need to find some decent sounds, some kind of pad sounds, because they, I don't want um, anything, you know, I don't want anything mad here. I haven't got my MIDI keyboard connected. So I'm just going to see um, what that sounds like. quite nice actually but I'll want something um that's nice that might sound really nice so we've got a sound for this, and then we need a sound for um, Aperio as well. Something gentle, we don't want to go mad. Some, the bell sounds are quite nice, so we'll stick with um, some of these. <coughs> and we can always change them as we go, it's not a problem. Uh, we can see how they sound, obviously. Let's make sure the volumes are, are at a sensible level. We know our sinusoidal is okay, and our orbit is all right on that one. Um, let's see, so now all we need to do is hit play again and then we can start adding those extras in. There's very little, very little work from me, I'm only setting it up. All the music has been created by Refractions. So now we know we have something on one, two, three and four. Let's add um, some more stuff in. It stopped. It has stopped. I need to start it off again. So. Wow. 
why I've removed all notes from the song now. Why is it not working? Here we go. It has to wait for the next link loop to come round once I start the session. So. <laughs> Waverly. Photo 4 is going to be playing anyway because it's just receiving MIDI. So that's playing all them five synths now. Now what you can also do all you're doing all you're hearing now is what's been generated by um, refractions so we can add some and I'm going to turn the volume down for this one number eight Now we can start to mix it. So this is going to get cacophonous now, but we don't need to worry about that just yet. Let's turn the, the, ov the overall output down. Let's make this bigger. So I'm now using MIDI mixers just to control the overall mix of everything. So we've taken up the first six channels. And this is where MIDI mixer again comes in really cool. So the first snapshot we're gonna be having is just the sound of refractions. I'm going to set my fader time to 15 seconds. I'm going to hit snapshot and then snapshot one, like this. And then what I'm going to do is, and this is this is really cool. I'm going to fade in fade in number six and fade out the first one and we're on a 15 second fade time and then hit snapshot and number two and then yes let's make it a bit bigger so this is going to be the second one we don't need to worry about number seven because there's nothing in there yet or eight so we can leave them down again and call that snapshot two And that's a nice sound from, uh, I think it's Aperio, isn't it? And then we can kind of just put in photo four, snapshot three.
Just kind of, we can change out the sound of photo for as well. Oh, thank you very much, your honor. Well, brilliant, thank you. And we'll call that uh, snapshot seven. I'm just going to change the sound on photo four. quite nice it's quite harsh so we can the slap black hole on there and make sure that in that snapshot which is snapshot seven Still not happy with the sound. Okay, so now we all we need to do is play it. I remember seven and eight, there's nothing in seven and eight. <clears throat> so I'll turn the microphone down and we'll just, you'll just hit different snapshots. It'll just be really cool.
so it looks like <clears throat> photo four's stopped working again. It may have a duration or something, or I don't know. Oh, it might. It might actually. Um, but yeah. So, there you go. I I think it, it's it's got thirty. 32 measure uh, duration but if you go into any of the sounds the old durations pattern lengths I don't know it's fine though now Go and check us out on Bandcamp, Joe. Joe Brewster. Me and Joe have got a couple of albums. Free, free to download. Free, cost you nothing. Might play you a track in a minute. <coughs> oh, gosh, excuse me. Marvelous. So there you go. There was. Uh, I'm gonna play you. I'm gonna play you some music in a minute. Um, anyway, guys, if you're still here, just for fun, um, I'm gonna play you some tracks anyway, so you can hear it. You might not like it, you know. Um, so yeah, there is um, a look at how to set up uh, refractions to self-generate kind of. Of course, all this is now also playing. All this other stuff. And then you can just stop it. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at mine and Joe's band campaign, Jay. Mm. I think we're... Um... I can never find Bandcamp, I can't. I keep changing it. There we go. The sound test room, Bandcamp. There's some of our stuff. Um, there it will, I'll play you a song with Joe singing. I don't know which one we could listen to. What, what one do you want me to play, Joe? Hey, diddle, diddle, pause. Oh, Mally's, I don't mind. Uh, no, it, uh, I don't know. It, it, it will, it, well, it will trigger anything, really, but it's kind of random how it does it, you know. You you put the notes and you decide on the scale and the key, etc. And then you can actually just set O'Malley's, O'Malley's. So this is O'Malley's from me and Joe. Yes. Where are we going? Oh, right.
Take a cigarette from my silver box I sit here at night Waiting for the man to bite I know Tony and Jack will have another fight The usual guys will try
Oh, a track from Little Hearts in the Big Picture. Or do I like this one? My favourite. This. Oh, this is my solo album. Oh, I'll play this one anyway. I like this one. Okay, so, <coughs> oh gosh, I'll play one more <laughs> track. <laughs> so this is from mine and Joe's album, uh, Anagram. Um, I don't even, I can't, do you know what? Because I, I don't really listen to my own music, only when I play it to use. Um, so we'll just, we'll play, I'll play the first track.
can't remember the blinking tracks. These are all available for free if you want to download them. Play another one, eh?
I mastered everything in T-Rex on a desktop. Long, long time, Joe. <laughs> you just got to keep at it, mate. Anyway, I. I I hope you enjoyed listening to a couple of them. Um, I mean, we could play music all day, you know what I mean? But uh, <laughs> it would get a bit boring, probably. Um... Gosh, let's listen to Butterflies. I really like this one. This is the only time Joe's ever used auto-tune. She doesn't like auto-tune. I hope you're ready to dance. Get up and dance. <laughs> oh, thanks, Jade. Just like a butterfly, we'll spread our wings and we can fly. We'll spread our wings and we will fly like butterflies. Are you ready to dance? <laughs> To the fly, I'm going to show you something, and I think you'll be surprised. Showed it to a lady, but she couldn't believe her eyes. I can't say what it did to her, but it really made her smile. Just like a butterfly. To get into my way, but I told them I'm too hot. The ladybird has lost his spots and is crying out for more. But in the dark, the spider looks and is ready for the show. Just like a butterfly, I will spread.
um, okay, I'll play another one. Eh? I've got I've got nowhere nowhere better to be. <laughs> but it's a new you you have. Um, let's see what what what, what next one. What, what what is this? So we've got some funny ones. We got some. Uh, we got another normal day. Hey diddle diddle. Um, we've got actually we've actually got tons and tons of songs. But this was the when we put this this album out. This was um, these are the songs we picked. But there are loads and loads of others. Oh, this is another. I'll play my place. My place is a really nice one. Um, it's it's more more of a track. You know what I mean. But it's a, it's a really nice song. Funny thing about my place, right? This track I'll play now. There is no verse. There's no chorus. The the track just evolves. Um, so like it starts. It doesn't. It 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 doesn't repeat itself at all during the whole track. It also features me playing guitar solo. Uh, on real guitar. Oh yeah, and these tracks. If you listen, these tracks were recorded a long time ago when we in a, in our studio in Spain, and um, we released them in July twenty. But they were recorded a long time ago. And so, if it sounds like real drums, it's real drums and real bass and real guitars and keyboards and stuff. So, but I like this. This is a nice track. Oops, not that one. Some really, really good lyrics, you know. There's a place where I go sometimes when I get low, when no one can reach me, I can be on my own. The thoughts in my mind just keep coming all the time.
Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. A few, a few, a few tracks from uh, yeah, the repertoire. A few tracks from the repertoire. Uh, yeah, so uh, like I said, you know, these are you know, all these albums are albums of my, uh, mine and Joe's music and stuff is all uh, it's all for free if you want to download it. There's some relaxating therapy stuff and uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, and all oh, this is oh, this, see that's just one chip tune track that I did in Gadget, and then there's thanks Jade, and then there's a, a projects album of mine that I did where it was like a tribute to different bands and uh, not covers but in the style of if you know what i mean um you love the old ship tunes i'll play you that one then because you know because you can because we can right uh so this was made in korg gadget and it's just one track actually um so all called gadget, just one track, uh, doing kind of chip tune style. So it's it's good fun.
Hyper quantized, obviously, and that really, really fast bit that was put in via MIDI. All that's like MIDI, you know what I mean? But super, super good at gadgets, just stop. Gadgets just brilliant at doing everything, you know what I mean? It's just like a, it's just like a powerhouse of, uh, of brilliance. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm definitely going to go now and let you go. Um, the main point of this whole thing was showing you Re Refractor, which we did for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes, and then we played some music. So it was very cool. Thank you very, very, very much for joining me this afternoon in the UK where we did this. Tonight I will be back. Uh, and after watching Jade's live stream last night, I, I was quite inspired. I might even do something with uh, uh, Garage Band tonight. Do you know what I mean? Uh, maybe. Anyway, but, you know. I don't know. Anyway, listen, thanks guys. Listen, um, um, bless you all for watching. If you like the video and you haven't liked it already, please strike the like. And uh, yeah, brilliant. I really enjoyed that. Um, I like playing the music as well. It's it's good fun. There's tons and tons of it. Um, Okie dokie. I'll let you say ta to each other for a few minutes while I start to switch everything off. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see some of you later this evening at uh, 8 o'clock. You're welcome, Jade. And uh, see you later. Ta -ra. Don't forget, if you want to hear that music, just go to our Bandcamp page. There's links in all the video descriptions. You can get it for now if you want. Ta -ra.